Good morning, friends. Um, good morning from Holy Name University. Thank you so much, Ms. Dr. Nanile Nuate, for allowing University of Cebu to hold the virtual caravan in Holy Name University. Before we will start our um, hour-long caravan, I would like to remind the participants regard regarding our thumb house rules. Stay muted throughout the session to ensure an orderly one. Turn off your audio by clicking the microphone. For concerns or technical difficulties, whether you cannot hear the presenter clearly or not, feel free to type a message on the Zoom chat box. We suggest you direct your particular concerns to the host or co-host rather than the public chat. We will open the Q&A for questions later, later, and here participants can type their questions or comments. And you may also raise the, use the raise hand feature in Zoom if you wish to articulate your thoughts. If you, um, we also discourage to um, sending irrelevant messages in the chat box to avoid any disruption. Screen sharing and drawing on screen annotations are not allowed. And by the end of the meeting, we may have a photo opportunity with the members of here in the Zoom. And we encourage participants and presenters alike to turn on their cameras as we will take photos for posterity purposes. I would like also to inform the participants that this hour long caravan is recorded. Thank you. All right, hello, friends. I am Francis Lien. Call me Lien. Call me friend. I'm your friend, and I will be your host or moderator for this uh, for this um, hour long caravan. To start, let's have the prayer, then followed by the singing of the Philippine national anthem.
All right, good morning once again. To start this, to welcome us um, for this Friends Caravan, we have Dean Ophelia Gimania, the Vice Chancellor for Business Development and Innovation, for her welcome remarks. Ma'am? Good day, everyone. As the Vice Chancellor for Business Development and Innovation, it is with gratitude that you allow the University of Cebu to visit your academic institution for our friend caravan. The University of Cebu is one of the three Philippine partners higher education. Education institution of the European Union Erasmus Plus Grant. Furthering international relations capacity. Cultural engage to nurture campus diversity project. It is a project based on the principles of diversity and complementarity. Today, with my Friends team, we will introduce internationalization at home. I A H to you all by showing our systematic institution of 
additional effort in improving non-mobile students global skills in domestic development. Part of our IAH exploitative activities is the Intercultural Passport Virtual Module. All right, so in behalf of Dino Felagimania, I would like to give the welcome remarks. Um, the University of Cebu is one of the three partnered Philippine higher education institutions of the European Union Erasmus Plus Friends, or Furthering International Relations, Capacities, and Intercultural Engagement to Nurture Campus Diversity Project. The Friends Project is a project based on the principle, it's a project based on the principles of diversity and complementarity. Today with the Friends team, yours truly, Francis Lian, with Ms. Adelyn Lopez, we will introduce Internationalization at Home or IAH to you all by showing the um, project's systematic institutional efforts in improving non-mobile students' global skills in domestic development. Part of the IAH exploitative, exploitative activities is the Intercultural Passport Virtual Module. Now this module, it aims to improve students' intercultural knowledge and skills and sensitivity, uh, and sensitivity to, the, to cultural diversity. We will also be introducing the Intercultural Passport Virtual Module, just very timely in the midst of the new normal. The module, which will be discussed by Ms. Edeline Lopez, will help create a paradigm shift of our pedagogical approaches and introduce an egalitarian community spirit where internationalization um, at home no, is not a privilege in the few, but an asset that all students can benefit from. In this regard, uh, in this regard, uh, in behalf of the University of Cebu, I am here to welcome you all to our very first Friends Caravan. This is a one-hour event aimed to promote um, aimed to promote the Friends Intercultural Passport Virtual Module, and this event includes, but not limited to, interactive intercultural passport presentations. Um, Q&A sessions later on, and inspirational talks from our students who are already holders of the intercultural passport. So I hope um, you will enjoy and learn from it. Thank you for being here with us in the Zoom meeting, mga friends. At this juncture, we will be hearing from Ms. Edeline Lopez, the a Friends member, professor in the College of Tourism, University of Cebu, Banilad to share to us the IACD MOOC and um, the digital storytelling. So I'll give now the virtual floor to Ms. Adeline Lopez. Internationalization at home is one of the global trends today. Greetings in the spirit of excellence. I am Ed and I will walk you through intercultural awareness and cultural diversity, massive open online course or MOOC. This is part of the FRIENDS project. FRIENDS stands for Furthering International Capacities and Intercultural Engagement to Nurture Campus Diversity 
and support internationalization at home. Let's start! The Intercultural Awareness and Cultural Diversity or IACD Massive Open Online Course or MOOC is one of the French project's key outcomes. It is designed and developed by the European project partners to build our students' intercultural competence and sensitivity to cultural diversity. It is very timely because it's free and it's also a self-paced learning module which means that it is open 24-7. It has special features like transcript and copy of resource materials for technologically challenged students. This session is divided into four parts. First, the registration. Second, the MOOC exploration. Third, the digital storytelling. And lastly, the certification or obtaining your intercultural passport or certificate of completion. For the MOOC registration, we have few steps. First, open your browser and log on to erasmusplusfriends.eu. If you're already there, you scroll down and check the intercultural passport section. You can see two buttons there, register and login buttons. Since we don't have yet our account, kindly click register. Give your personal information. You start with your first name, last name, date of birth, the day, month, and year, your gender, type your email address. To confirm that email address, you retype it again. You can also give your Facebook account name as an optional information. Below that, we have Intercultural Passport Applicants Profile. Kindly click Philippines as your country. Undergraduate is the level of education. For the home university, if the name of your university is not on the list, please click Other. One question there, are you an experienced MOOC learner? If it's your first time, kindly click No. But if it's not your first time, you can click Yes. Another question, where did you learn about the IP tool? You can choose any of those options. Now, click the agreement box as you agree to participate in the Intercultural Passport virtual module. If you're done completing the information, click Register. Let us jump to the second part of the session. This is now the MOOC exploration. Let's visit again the official site, erasmusplusfriends.eu. This time, because we're done registering, you scroll down, check the Intercultural Passport section, and click Log In. Upon logging in, you just try to copy and paste the username and system-generated password that you received through your email. If you're using a mobile device, kindly click Take the Course. Now, you can already see the different units of the MOOC. You can start exploring the 18 units of the MOOC at your own pace. But before that, let us identify the different parts of the MOOC and some instructions on how to use the MOOC. First is the progress bar. At the top of your screen is your progress bar. The IACD MOOC completion consists of 107 steps across 18 units. If there are available videos, please watch the video until the end. Explore the content of the presentations and additional resources sections and complete the assignments. Again, don't forget, please watch the full video and let the video end on its own since after that, the next button will be turning to green. That means you can now move to the next section or if you can check your progress bar, your progress bar, bar also improved. Beside the progress bar is the section where you can click the course home or if you would wish to log out, you can click log out. Next is the units and parts section. Each unit consists of various parts such as videos, transcripts, presentations and additional resources if applicable, and assignments. Ideally, you should always watch the videos in the suggested sequence. Feel free to take advantage of the attached transcripts and to refer to the respective unit presentations if available. To proceed with the next part, you should click on the green button that appears at the bottom. You will complete the whole unit only 
after you have completed successfully all its parts. Another is the additional resources section. This part includes various references to learning and reading materials, articles, online books, links to useful external videos, and even the downloadable tools. We encourage you to read, watch, and explore as many of the recommended sources as possible. To proceed to the content of the next available unit, you should click on the next button. Next is the set of assignments. There are different types of assignments and majority are multiple choice. Few essays and cultural intelligence tests in units 1 and 18 where you need to be honest in answering the cultural intelligence test. How? Just simply click assignment button, click the word here, then you can see a PDF file that will appear on your screen. Read the instruction with 39 statements that you need to answer. Your answers can only be 1 to 7. 1 being strongly disagree and 7 being strongly agree. After rating yourself, you have to follow the formula given for you to know your motivational factor score, cognitive factor score, metacognitive factor score, behavioral factor score, and your total score. Lastly is the comments, reviews, and feedback section. Under each unit's main page, there is a leave a comment box where you can share your impressions, comments, and remarks on the respective unit's content and delivery mood. To share your feedback on the IACD MOOC as a whole, you should return to its main page, rate, and review it through the available means. The third part of this session is the digital storytelling. At the end of the MOOC, you are expected to submit a digital story with forms and waiver. The forms will be given to you by our representative, but don't forget to read all the instructions and complete all those forms. You also need to individually submit one digital storytelling entry. The length of the video or digital story should be 2 to 3 minutes. That means minimum of 2 minutes and maximum of 3 minutes. The topic content of digital story can be but not limited to intercultural experience, global experience, cross-cultural experience, your intercultural journey, or you can even share about cultural diversity or your own culture. All submissions must be an original work by the eligible student and have full copyright to the submitted material, including sound effects and music if you used one. This means that all submissions should not use copyrighted material without any permission from any sources. If you're done with your digital story and forms, you may submit that to your instructor or probably to our representative. Now. Let's talk about the last part of this session, the certification. So upon successful completion of the IACD MOOC, you will receive a personalized certificate. Keep in mind that to earn the certificate, you need to view all the required course materials and complete all the assignments. This certificate is also known as your intercultural passport. For the University of Cebu, Few of our MOOC completers or intercultural passport holders were given a chance to be part of our international mobility program in Bulgaria. And soon, another set of students will be joining in an all-expense paid trip and boot camp as well in Bulgaria. So, that concludes our IACD MOOC registration to certification session. Thank you so much for lending your ears. The entire University of Cebu is very excited to be with you in your journey to the MOOC and of course, to be culturally competent. That's it for now and I hope that we'll be able to see you soon, friends. Have a great day. At this juncture, thank you, Ms. Adeline Lopez, for sharing that comprehensive presentation.
At this juncture, we'll be hearing from the IACD MOOC completers, um, letting them share their testimony. So now we have Ms. Sheila Agasita, and the other um, student will be uh, Ms. Earl Regulation. and I am an intercultural awareness, cultural diversity, massive open online course completer. I learned that cultural diversity is not only about making friends with other nationalities. but respecting, understanding their culture, and being open-minded can make a difference. I also learn about European culture identity, values, as it was taught in a way that is easy to understand. I also learned about the importance of communication One of the biggest challenges I encountered when making my digital story is how I could creatively express my learning. I wanted it to be both educational and entertaining to watch. I drafted ideas and I fermented a lot. I have also had so much fun doing the digital story and I reflected on my experience. I am really grateful that I was able to have an opportunity to join Intercultural Awareness Cultural Diversity Massive Open Online Course. It boosted my creativity and confidence that believing in yourself on the things you thought you can. My communication skills were also enhanced in building social relationships, social communication, and corresponding ideas, thoughts, and feelings. I also hope more people can experience this thing as I believe it really helped me in many ways. And it is more remarkable if more people could experience this thing. I also hope that more people will be interculturally aware and to help create a world where there is love, 
understanding, peace, equity, and harmony. And that will be all for my intercultural awareness. cultural diversity massive open online course experience. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Ms. Agasita, for sharing your experience about the IACD MOOC. Now we will be hearing from another student. Um, we will be hearing from Earl Marie Regulation. Good afternoon, friends. I am Earl Marie Regulacion, a second-year BSTM student. Now, let me share with you about my experience during the MOOC and digital story competition. Enrolling in the MOOC was a great decision I made for myself. I learned how having intercultural competence makes you appreciate, accept, and understand people of different cultural backgrounds. I have learned that culture is more than just knowing their language, their religion, their food, their traditional costumes, and the like. Through the MOOC, I get to know more on how culture affects one's attitude, how culture shapes one's beliefs, and how culture reflects on how you act and interact with other people. My journey with the MOOC raised awareness of how different and unique other cultures are and most importantly, it made me accept my own culture even more. The challenge I had with this experience was during the making of the digital story. This is because I only have a few face-to-face -face interactions with people from different cultures. Until one day, I remembered how I made friends with someone from a different nationality through the internet. So I made that as my inspiration for my digital story. Plus, the process in writing the script, the video making, and editing was also a challenge for me. I have overcome this by thinking that this is not just a requirement I have to comply with, but rather a story I want to share with the audience. Thankfully, all the time and effort I exerted was worth it because it became my ticket to become one of the boot campers. And with the help and support of the Athenians and Friends team, my digital story won the Friends Favorite Film during the Friends Virtual Film Fest last October. It feels fulfilling how that challenge turned into an achievement for me. So to my fellow students, I encourage you to enroll in the MOOC because it is an experience that will really take you somewhere. The new knowledge and cultural awareness that you will gain is something you can really bring with you wherever you are. Also, you never know that through participating in the MOOC and Digital Story will open many doors of opportunity for you in the future. Thank you so much and see you friends! Good. Is that um, the testimonies of our IACD MOOC completers? Now, maybe you will be asking, what's the catch? I mean, like, what's, what's in it for us in, having the, in entering or enrolling in this IACD MOOC? Aside from learning intercultural, comp aside from being interculturally competent and acquiring the right skills and knowledge to be interculturally aware, um, the Friends IACD MOOC also adds your, um, it helps you in your resume. Um, showing experience of how competent you are. Another thing is this is also a good opportunity for um, UC to um, UC to introduce or connect um, Holy Name University with the future activities by Erasmus Plus, by the Erasmus Plus project. Now at this point we will be having some trivia questions, and the winners who will and the winners will be receiving load prizes. So to those who want to participate in our short trivia game, you may comment your answers in the Zoom chat box using the format, your name, and the answer. The question number one is, what is the meaning of friends? 
you may now type the your answer in the Zoom chat box. All right, anyone, are you still there? Okay. What is the meaning of friends? Hello, mga taga H and U, friends from H and U. <laughs> okay, let's wait for Miko to answer. Or anyone from H and U, what is the meaning of friends? This was um, articulated by Dean Ophelia G. Mania in her welcome remarks. And I think this was also presented by Miss Adeline Lopez. So what do we mean by friends? So we have a an answer from Mary Houdin Grace Fuego. Further friends furthering international relations capacities and intercultural engage to nurture campus diversity. Miss Adeline, Miss Ed Lopez, is this correct? Yes, sir. Okay. That's correct. All right. So congratulations, Mary Judine. You will be receiving a cash prize through your through GCash. So we would appreciate to input or send in the Zoom chat box your email address and your number, mobile number. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Question number two. How many units are there in Friends IACD MOOC? If I can hear it right, no. If I heard it right, Miss Adeline Lopez mentioned the number of units in the IACD MOOC. How many units are there? Oh. <laughs> Oi. Okay. How many units are there in Friends IACD MOOC? Very close na, Miss Yana. Gamay na lang yung kembot na kuwang para ko correct. Yes, you're correct, Miko. That's okay. 18. Congratulations, Miko, for um, answering it correctly. All right, let's proceed to the next um, question. But for number three, four picks, one word. Okay, unsa ka ni siya, no? Type your answers in the Zoom chat box.
colorful life to everyone. Ako sa Kamalopio din sa Pilipinas and a proud member of the LGBTQ plus community. Usa ko masugid sa akong mga kasinatian. Ako sa ibahin ang surya sa lugar nga akong natawahan. Dini sinasod nga akong gipuyuan. Kada lugar adunay ka o galingong surya nga maisugid. Dini sa barangay tulog-tulog. Gamay nga lugar sa Cebu. Ako nagtakot. Tungod sa ngala ni Ini, ako nakabangutan sa akong apuhan o ano ka ang hindi nga nandiyan niyo tulog-tulog. According to my grandmother, tulog-tulog was coined from a never-ending droplet of water from a tree. Droplet in Cebuana language means solo. Ugmatod pa ni Lola ang usa sa panginabuhian nila sa una hangtod karon kaya ang paggama o sarok, which can be used during rainy and dry season. The rock is an icon in the municipality of Consolacion, and we are constantly celebrating the rock festival every 14th day of February, which at the same time is a Valentine's Day. The rock festival is more on dancing and showcasing its wide usage in our place. We celebrate festivals and fiestas here in the Philippines with photo fight, a Filipino style of eating. We use our hands to eat without using spoon and fork or other dining utensils. A bullfight meal dispenses with cutlery and dishes, having a big banana leaf as an alternative plate. And of course, our Otan Bisaya will never be absent. We love dancing in our country. Filipinos tend to dance while listening to music without minding the choreography. Truth be told, our songs reflect our culture and tradition as a Filipino. In fact, I love music and I'm the one playing the background music. I hope you like it. At the age of 15, I already had a work experience as a production worker in business Masoki. It was exhausting, but it was a memorable experience. And back in my senior high school days, at the age of 15, I applied as a working scholar for me to have a free uniform and books. And then, when I stepped to college, I became a service crew at Cashier. Through those experiences, I'm able to communicate, Church and learn different culture and types of people from local to foreign. Based on my experiences, I have observed that every nation has its own unique culture and practices. But I can say that every country has similarities too, such as having an atmosphere of love and respect. There is so much things that I wanted to share with you from tradition, practices, culture, different tourist attractions, and many more about my country. But for now, let's only be a message. Be proud to wear your skin. Be proud of your very own culture. For this connects you to the world, to the world with diverse and colorful cultures. So friends, do not forget, hashtag show your true colors. My name is Earl, a student taking a Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management at University of Cebu, Benilad. Years ago, I had this internet friend, and because of her, I started to become fascinated in learning culture. So, this is my digital story. Way back 2015, I met a girl named Diana through Twitter. It all started when she retweeted one of my tweets about my favorite British boy band. I didn't seem to care at first. But she sent me a private message afterward. She wanted to be my friend because we both liked the same boy band. I agreed and that was the beginning of us talking to each other. I remembered that she first spoke to me in English. So, I assumed that she was a foreign citizen. One time, she sent me a photo of herself. It was my proof that she was real and I can't believe I gained a Welsh friend. She was pretty with her brown hair and brown eyes. I even remembered her saying that being naturally brunette was something she liked about herself. I felt happy and I always look forward to talking to her every day despite the time differences. We usually talk about updating each other about our favorite boy band, but as time goes by, we have talked more about ourselves. 
We talked about school and at that time she was in her year 9 in secondary education. She also shared that she knows how to play the harp because it is a popular instrument to be played in her country. One day she said it was St. David's Day in Wales. She showed me a picture of their national flower, the daffodil, and explained it blooms in time for their national holiday. On the same day, she also sent me a picture of a famous dish in her country named cow, which they prepared for the sad holiday. Those are just some of the things that we have talked about. On the other hand, I also shared things about myself and it feels great to open up to each other. All right, and those are those were the entries of our students of our friends um, project. In the friends project, also equipped the students with the initial knowledge and basic skills, which are necessary to design and produce from scratch an interesting and um, inspiring digital story. So the Asian HEIs in this friends project, they oh, all of the HEIs motivated students to apply for and achieve the intercultural passport certificate. The intercultural passport certificate um, is a way that um, it uh, it needs to develop and submit uh, to get one. The, the student or the participant needs to develop and submit a digital story capturing an experience of him or her um, obtaining no, in an international that the um, experience that he um, or him obtained from an international or intercultural context that made the student learn a lesson on the importance of cultural diversity, intercultural awareness, tolerance, and mutual understanding. Now at this point, we will be sharing or giving our um, appreciation to Holy Name University, um, especially to Ms. Nanilin, Dr. Nanilin Wate for allowing University of Cebu to hold an hour-long virtual caravan. So let me present the certificate of recognition and, and read the citation. Certificate of recognition is given to Holy Name University for the, great, for the great opportunity given to the University of Cebu through staging the Friends Caravan held via Zoom this 18th day of November, 2021. Uh, this aims to promote the Friends Intercultural Passport Virtual Module and the Intercultural Awareness and Cultural Diversity or IACD Massive Open Online Course or the MOOC. Given this e-certificate on the 18th day of November, 2021, signed by Dean of Mania, the Vice Chancellor for Business Development and Innovation, and at the same time, the Campus Director of the University of Cebu, Benila Campus. So thank you so much, Doc Muate. Um, Maybe we can hear a short message from you, Doc. A grabby message, Jude. <laughs> a short message. Kuya wan matani mo, Doc Lian, oi. Sorry, Lian, Murag. Um, well, anyway, na sayang ko sa opportunity that only a few students are here. But uh, knowing from you that there will be other students from other institutions who will also be hearing the same inputs that you have shared to our students, uh, I believe that your program will be more um, nourished and. Uh, widespread 
So thank you very much for this opportunity in behalf of Holy Name University. I thank you for giving us the opportunity to, to know about your program and hopefully we will be able to uh, be given the privilege also to be part of the Erasmus program that you have at UC. Right. So thank you, Charlian. Please keep on uh, sharing with us your gifts right. and your opportunities there. So I look thank forward you. to one day makashare gihapon ka na mo sa inyong mga kanang matawag na to ug mga kalipayon <laughs> just like what we have there yes so thank you thank you uh, so much of, yes most of those who are here are our student leaders from the CSG the mm -hmm. CSO and the word student publication so morning uh medyo gamay gamay ra gyud i was just i was imagining uh tapo mong so anyway, sorry for tingali ako a misunderstanding or maybe miscommunication. So nevertheless, I thank you for giving us this privilege and opportunity to learn from you. All right. Thank you so much, Doc Kwate. Thank you very much. Yay. All right. Now at this point, we will be hearing from... Ms. Tina Hernaiz Gomez, the International Linkages Coordinator of the entire University of Cebu Campus, uh, University, uh, about uh, to close the um, Friends Caravan. University President, Head of Student Affairs Office, students and faculty, to end, it is with much hope and sentimentality that I am closing this first virtual Friends Caravan with great fondness. I and the rest of the University of Cebu are very grateful for showing your passion and engaging with our vision of internationalizing our academic and non-academic affairs through the Friends Project. For that, I am very grateful and humbled that you allot an hour of your busy schedule. The generosity and collaborative spirit that you have shown here will be the start of our future partnership. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you so much, Ms. Tina Gomez, for um, closing our friends' caravan. At this point, Ms. Adeline Lopez sent the evaluation link for our participants. Please fill out the Google form and you will um, automatically receive an e-certificate after. Okay, thank you.
All right, so to those who submitted the Google form already, you may now leave the Zoom meeting. Thank you so much. Okay na, miss. <laughs> Sir! Uh, may challenge uh, ko. <laughs> Wala na ako'y workout kay ning, hin- ning hinay man ako ang kanang pulse rate. So, uh, request ko sa doctors nga mo mo stop lang sa, sa workout. Kwan day, sir? Ako'y favor. Yes. This afternoon ba, naman ko yung klase nga 1.30 to 3 niya. Akong di- nag-decide ko nga mag-effuse na lang. Pariharap na silang klase sa 3 to 4.30. Naka-decide ko nga i-move na lang silang tanan. Effuse nila na- sila na kung 3 to 4.30. Maigo ba na ang 80 kabata sa Google Meet? Kasuway ka? Maigo ra, miss. Maigo ra. Ah, maigo ra? Hmm. Ah, sige. Mag-Google Meet na lang ko. Kay, na-worry ko ba kay Basin? Di ma- Oo. Basin di maigo. Pero may igot naman di ay. Wala pa ugo ko mm. kasi why balik. Sige sir, so see you at, wa, at 12? Kapi 12.30? 12.45 ah, lang miss. Napakoy ah, sige, sige. Well. Okay, sir. Ako pa silang i-meet kadali. Ah, okay. Sige sir. Okay, Bye. Thank you miss. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.